Welcome back, this is Shirley Davis, and I'm here to do another video on my portfolio and which stocks are increasing today. Uh, first ticker symbol we have is Amazon. Amazon is up 0.09%. Uh, uh, ticker symbol CRWD, or CrowdStrike, is up 0.56%. Uh, ticker symbol SNAP, or SNAP, is up 2%. And ticker symbol CMG is up 1.8%. So those are the stocks that are moving in my uh, Robinhood portfolio. And um, I just want to talk about real quick, uh, Microsoft. Microsoft is a now $1 trillion company. Uh, as you can see, uh, over the last few five days, it's just increased. Um, it's relatively up this week, 1.96%. Um, but the other stock that a lot of meme people have been buying into, and I just want everyone to be careful about buying into meme stocks. They're great, they're exciting, but I just wanna show you the difference. This is ticker symbol CLOV or Clover Health. Um, th this is what, a meme stock looks like. It runs up a whole lot from whatever is normal. It's a low at $6 or $7. It triples in value and then it crashes down. And the only reason why I bring this up is because uh, I was just on Clubhouse and people say, oh, I bought 100 shares of, and I'm like, oh, you bought 100 shares of Microsoft? They're like, no, I bought 100 shares of Clove. So if you're gonna put a lot of money behind something, I would not put it on clove. That's just in my humble opinion. All the information given here is just edu informational or ent entertainment is not uh, you know, professional. This, if you need professional help, it recommend you speak to a financial advisor, but just in my humble opinion, I would stay away from just chasing meme stocks. Even though great, they're exciting. Uh, and I was building a portfolio, I would start with like Microsoft or I would start with Apple. That's what I would start with. Um, so I saw I wanted to cover there. Um, on to my stock portfolio and today's top stocks. Again, uh, unknown. Uh, Marine software is up 41% on the day. Uh, second ticker we have up is Hymex Technologies. This is the chip stock. Uh, every device in US needs chips these days. So um, last week when we were talking about it, it was actually trading around $10 per share. Uh, ticker symbol GBTC is up 6% today. Uh, this is the Grayscale Bitcoin Fund. Uh, this week, Bitcoin is behaving, so uh, the, the Bitcoin fund is up. Uh, see, ticker symbol AMD. AMD is up 2%. And again, like I was saying on yesterday, I think this stock has a chance to go up to $100 per share. Uh, ticker symbol CHPT or charge point is up 2% on the day. Uh, again, ChargePoint is part of the EV infrastructure and is, will be part of Biden's bigger bill of infrastructure. So I would definitely start adding to my position in ChargePoint if you haven't already. Um, if you're going to maybe buy some, buy some more on a dip. So uh, check out ChargePoint. If you're going to buy some today while it's going up, buy a little bit, don't buy a whole lot. Ticket symbol NKE or Nike is up 2%. Ticker symbol TWLO is up 1.66%. And NEO, ticker symbol NIO is up 1.6% as well. So those are the stocks that are pretty much up on the day. Um, again, um, Try to look for value, um, look for stocks on the dip. I'm gonna show you what I usually do.
This is stocks on my total gain. I have a sort feature. And this gain percent is gain total percent. So here it is, you see AMC, I'm up 486%. And how I tell what I should buy for the day is what is in the red. So if you look at Tesla's down 1.23%, if you look at like it's something about space or is down 13%, uh, ticker symbol COF is down 1%. And Stitch Fix is down 1.71%. So I basically go through this. I look at my total gains, ones that have done very well. And then I add to my position on them when their stock is in the red. So if you go down here, these are the more trusted, the ones that I've been with for a long time for at least a year or more. And as you go down my list of total gains, this amount totally decreases. So if you can see here, I'm down four and a half percent with ticker symbol X, US Steel. But once this starts trading at about 29 per, $29 per share, this stock will move up my list. It'll move up to probably 3% gain. So that's what you wanna do. You wanna come up with a list of your total gains that are in the positive and buy the stocks on the dip. So start, you know, you wanna start a portfolio with positive gains. I mean, we've, I've got like, you know, over, you know, 60 stocks here where I started a positive position Ticker symbol CLF, Apple, uh, you know, I could go on and on. And then what I do is on the days that they're down, like SAV, which is uh, Spirit Airlines, I buy more of them on the dip. But I also am conscious of what the current share price is. So if the share price is at its max, you know, it's 52 week high, then I try to let it settle down some more, you know, so you know, if the stock trades between $25 and $30 per share, I try to buy more of this stock at $25 per share. So I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like this content, please give it a like or share. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you on the next video.